When you think of ITX gaming builds, you think of premium. Certain parts like the motherboard case and CPU cooler are made specifically for smaller builds, which causes them to be more expensive than the non-ITX counterparts. And for most builders on a tighter budget, it makes the idea of a smaller form factor PC out of reach. But this Intel ITX motherboard from MSI seeks to break that stereotype, coming in at only around $130. This is the MSI H510i, and it supports both 10th and 11th gen Intel chipsets, and while some would say it's not up to date with the most recent Intel offerings, you have to keep in mind that arguably the best CPU out there for gaming is the Intel i5-11400, which this motherboard will support. In addition, the build quality is exceptional for the price, and even though it might not look as cool as some of the other ITX motherboard offerings, the steel armor plating is a very functional design element. The MSI H510i also includes some features that are kind of above and beyond what a normal bare bones motherboard would have, you know, nice to have features. And those include an M.2 SSD slot in addition to a Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth card. Now normally I would not recommend a motherboard just because it has Wi-Fi or Bluetooth because generally the price increase is not really worth it. They're gonna charge you more than what a just little adapter would actually cost you, but there isn't any other model than the H510i in the ITX form, so you're just gonna have to enjoy the extra feature. For IO, on the back panel, it features four USB 2.0 ports, along with two 3.0 ports, as well as an HDMI and display port, and your standard ethernet and audio inputs. For internal onboard connections, the board has four SATA ports, three fan headers, one PCIe slot, and two memory slots, which each support 32 gigabytes of RAM at a max speed of 3200 megahertz. The H510i has everything a budget builder would want on an ITX motherboard, but because of the price, I knew deep down there would be some shortcomings and shortcuts taken by MSI to, you know, cut down the price. After looking at this motherboard for a while and using it for a bit, there isn't really egregious errors that I have come across. The whole aesthetic might not be what everybody is looking for in a gaming motherboard, and the memory speed cap, as well as not the widest port selection, are definitely going to be issues for some people, but I can't really complain much about this motherboard. Some issues which are showed by all mini ITX boards show up on this product, such as certain CPU coolers not fitting, but honestly MSI did a really nice job of shaping the VRM heat sinks, so my AAO fit perfectly onto the CPU with pretty much no problems. That said, for most liquid coolers, I think space isn't going to be an issue, but definitely be sure to check the dimensions of your cooler just to be sure. One last quirk that applies to the MSI H510i board specifically is that if you do plan to upgrade to Windows 11 in the future, you will have to update your BIOS. This doesn't apply to everybody, obviously, and for most people, I don't even think it's going to be much of an issue if you do plan to upgrade because updating BIOS is, you know, it's gotten a lot easier over the years than what it used to be. And for most gamers, I don't think upgrading to Windows 11 is on the very near horizon, just because I feel like most people plan to wait a few years so that all the bugs are worked out. So what's my final opinion on the MSI H510i board? For the price of $130, you're not going to find another mini ITX board out there that's going to be this level of quality and support 10th and 11th gen Intel CPUs. Sure, it has its shortcomings here and there, but those can be overlooked in the grand scheme of things because there is not a product that comes close to what this offers for the price. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you in the next one. I've got more PC related content coming up very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. Peace.